Hey gals and guys, I'm back with another video and at least in this video I'm not sounding like somebody who just needs to go get some medicine and sounds horribly sick so i apologize for my last video if you guys did watch it for you guys that are new to my channel thanks for watching i am gonna get right to the point you will realize that when you watch more of my videos that i am typically one of those people who try to get to the point as quickly as possible today is november 2nd Woo yeah okay anyway today's november 2nd um and it's patch day patch day for content creators and for people who do origin and um sims 4 and all that stuff it's important because when there's updates that means we got to get our mods all together and it's like sometimes chaotic if you have a lot of mods but if you don't have a lot of mods then it's not chaotic so anyway, the Better Exceptions mod, I actually did that video prior to this, um, and I was basically letting you guys know how important that mod is because it lets you know what is broken so your game's not broken, and so that way you can get it updated by the creator, wait for them to update, or take it out of your game so you can enjoy your game without any issues. So this video is about UI cheats though, how to um, install their mod and all that good stuff, right? Um, and uh, yeah, that's what we're gonna go over today. But before I get to that, um, and I will have a timestamp below for those people who just don't have the time. Um, so you can go straight, straight to the part where I talk about um, how to install this. But to begin with, I want to show you guys what you would do if you had your mod and already installed in the game and you need to update because I know a lot of you guys who are looking these videos up, you're new to mods and a lot of this stuff, guys, believe it or not, I had to figure out on my own and through different content creators so that way I could figure it out and do it correctly because I just didn't want to mess up my game. So we're going to go into the finder window for you guys who have Mac. If you don't have Mac, you can still go to your documents, go to electronic arts, click on Sims 4, and this is immediately. It doesn't matter what type of patch day we have. It doesn't matter if I'm already connected to the Patreon accounts of the mod creators. I always, guys, if I know there's an update, I take this mods folder out. Before I even check to see if the mods are working, I take the whole entire folder out and then I go ahead and exit out and then I update my actual sims 4 so now it's preparing the files and doing all that good stuff and then I'm going to actually go to google chrome real quick and I'm going to show you guys something that's so important um I have a discord I don't know if you guys know what discord is so let's go to discord real quick and Discord is like a place where you can hang out and everything like that and talk to, you know, content creators and things of that nature, right? Now, I'm not entirely sure if my Discord is logged in on this computer, so let's find out. Loading. Oh, I am logged in. Look at that, guys. Okay, okay. so I follow certain you know, um, manga series and things like that, but I also follow more so the gaming um, channels and things like that so there's debtor pool there's twisted mexi there's base mental drugs um and as you can see they show you like right here they're showing me um they said welcome to patch 1.8172 the pre-patch for the blooming rooms right <laughs> along with a couple bug fixes this patch also introduces certain scenarios they tell you what the patch consists of um, and they do let you know if their mod needs to be fixed or is currently being worked on okay or if what they repaired while working on it and things of that nature so you just it's important if you're like really somebody who loves sims and you love to play sims and you're like you love using mods i highly suggest getting these um patreon accounts and connecting to their twitter account to tell you if and if their mod is broken if they're working on it and they will let you know when it's updated this is so important guys so 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 important so please 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 Make sure you do that. I will try. I think I already have, believe it or not, guys. If you look at my other video that I created on my channel, it's called Updated Mods or How to Update Mods. Don't take my word exactly word for word, but it's something about updating mods. It was a video I created, and I put all of the Discord um, accounts and Patreon accounts in the description below that video. So if you need access to these channels, because maybe you have base mental drugs in your game or Wicked Whims or whatever, 
it's going to be in that description okay hopefully you guys can find it but let's go ahead and get to the nitty-gritty of this video now that um sims 4 is updated so you go back to the origin app right um so you guys are actually getting an added bonus with this video because i was just going to show you guys how to download ui cheats but considering the situation um we're here now right <laughs> so you're gonna go to electronics art sims 4 um and you could just put the mods folder back in there okay now in the case that a mod creator already said that their mod's broken right and it's not working i would literally have took the mod the specific mod out so for example say slice of life mod right they were saying that it's broken right now it's not gonna work i would literally just grab the mod itself and take it out okay and if that creator is saying all their mods are i would take all their mods out like i would literally just let me see if I can show you guys how I drag, drag, how I drag. Okay, I don't know why I'm being so silly today. Um, you know what? Bump it. Whatever. You guys get the point. I would bulk capture it and then I would take it and put it on my desktop. Now, most people, they'll just throw it away until they get the updated content, like put it in the trash bin and then get the updated content, re-download it and put it back in your mods folder. But I mean, it really just depends on you. I'm like a hoarder to a certain extent and I don't like to just throw stuff away immediately because I don't know if I'm going to need it later. So that's kind of how I am. You guys don't have to be that way. I mean, really, you don't have to be that way. So anyway, so now I have better exceptions. So when I log into my Sims 4, it is going to let me know what is broken. It's going to let me know if um, certain mods aren't working. And I'm pretty sure that I have some on here. Maybe MC Command Center. I don't know. I haven't really looked at the Discord um descriptions and notifications since they told us it was patch day so i will check that later um sometimes i'll just let patch day completely be over like i'll wait a whole day whole 24 hours guys um and then i will like see what mod creators had updated their mods and then kind of go from there but don't get me wrong on patch days it doesn't necessarily mean that your mods are going to be broken and we'll load it without the mods folder in there. And then this is how you should normally do it. Don't put the mods folder in there like I did <laughs> before you actually start up the game, right? So this is the game. My game is really weird without my mods. So I'm surprised that she even still has hair on her head because there would be like a lot of things missing had I took my mods folder out. So let's just push play for a second. Just kind of play around with it. Kind of get in the game. Um, so yeah, when you guys are downloading UI cheats, let's get to that now. Since you guys are getting like a two-in-one video. I'll have this description um, below. I'll have the link to this website and this Patreon account in the description below. I definitely recommend supporting the mod creators because they really make our game more fun more exciting more reasonable um to understand or get through so you know if you have the money go for it um and then you'll have early access for situations like this when we have patch days and updates um and you want stuff quicker right um so here he tells you when he has updated everything okay so november 2nd which is today um updated for game version 1.81 so they tell you what version it is and that it's updated and added a new spellcaster curse removal cheat which is cool all right so it's updated so we can go ahead and scroll to the bottom if you ever wonder on patreon accounts where is the link to download it's normally at the bottom and then you're just gonna click it you're gonna download that bad boy hey ui cheats hey how you doing you doing good okay all right <laughs> so i'm sorry guys and so then you go back to um your game after you know the items are removed see i knew she wouldn't have hair if i took my mods out see what happens when i take my mods out i got bald girls while i'm running around all right so now we're gonna exit the game i'm not gonna save it i'm just gonna exit because like who wants to save her being bald right like no thank you i'm just gonna exit the game real quick now that we have started it up um and i'm just gonna take my ui extensions that's already in my mod folder out and i'm gonna basically put the new one in there and this is exactly what you would do for you people who are new and you're not updating like you're brand new you would literally go to that website scroll to the bottom click that link download it then you're going to go to your documents tab you're going to open your electronic arts if it would open <laughs> and then you're going to go to sims 4 um and your mods folder would in this case if you're not updating it would already be in here but considering the fact that i just took my mods folder out i have to put it back in there 
which is ironic because normally it creates a mod folder when you take one out it like automatically does that and you always want to remove the local thumb cache and you want to make sure that in your sims menu you um enable custom mods custom content things like that okay so i'm gonna go ahead and drag my mods folder back into this bad boy oh i missed you so much and i'm gonna open it up now for you people who are updating say in the case ui cheats wasn't updated right what you would do is literally throw it in the trash bye bye and you would open a new finder window so if you have mac i click control and then i open a new finder window I go to my downloads. I double click where the UI cheats extension is. I look inside just to make sure there's no extra stuff going on. It got the T4 script, it got the package, everything looks as it should. And I literally grab that folder to keep it organized and drag it into my folder. Bada beam, bada bam. I already got rid of the old UI cheats and I've updated it with the new one. Okay, and that is literally what you guys would do if you're updating. That is what you would do on patch day if a um, mod creator told you that they updated it or it's not the same as it used to be. Um, and this is exactly what you would do if you are brand new. If you're brand new to installing mods and UI cheats is one of the first ones that you're trying to download, you will literally follow the steps that I told you. You would download it. You will double click the download once it's downloaded and you'll move that folder inside of your mods folder. So if you need to run this back, pause it, play it, whatever works for you, go ahead. Um, and the difference is in your mods folder, if you're brand new, you're only going to see the resource CFG file and the UI cheats that you just put in there. You're not going to see a whole bunch of other stuff like I got because I'm just ridiculous and I got too many mods to, to count for days. <laughs> so guys, that is how you install UI cheats extension. I hope that this was helpful. If you guys want to support the mod creators, go for it. If you guys don't know what UI cheats does, which I highly doubt because if you're looking at this video, that means you've probably seen someone else's video who tells you that UI Cheats is awesome. Um, and they probably showed you how they use it. And that's why you want to download it in the first place. So I'm not going to spend too much time like going into the game to show you what it does. But just to give you a synopsis, UI Cheats makes it so much easier to manage your sim. So if you've played Sims and your sim is like getting really, really hungry or needs money real quick. And you don't want to use certain cheat codes because you can use cheat codes in the sim game. UI Cheats does all that quicker for you. So you're able to like enhance their moves or decrease their mood um, just by clicking the button the little bar screen that we see the green screen where it shows you their moods and stuff you can literally fluctuate that bar um, to change their moods and you can um, add like quick cash into your account real quick like a thousand dollars or 50 or whatever you want to do so pretty cool if you guys want me to drop a video on how to use like what does ui cheats look like inside the game i definitely don't mind doing that but to put that in this video right now I think that would be just too much because I'm not trying to make a 30 minute video. So, um, but I hope this is helpful. I hope that you guys were able to get some benefit out of this video. I will leave a timestamp for those who are like wanting to get quick and to the point and aren't updating their content. I will definitely, definitely make sure that I, I put a timestamp where I'm showing you exactly how to download it um, and how that process works. Do not, do not, do not forget to remove the local thumb cache out of your mods folder and enable your mods in your game options because if you do not do that, it will not work properly, okay? And guys, if any mod that you download is not working on patch day, it's because the mod creator needs to update it. So just be patient in time, it will work. I hope that this video was helpful. If it was, please like this video, guys. Comment what your experience is. I hope it was good. And um, if you have any questions, feel free to ask me. I am not a pro pro, but I will work and do what I can to get those answers for you guys if you are having trouble. So thank you again for watching this video, guys. And if it resonated, please like it and subscribe to the channel. Thank you again.